the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture, ICA, donated vital equipment to the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security, and Rural Development in response to the growing threat of African swine fever in the region. African swine fever is a highly contagious viral disease of domestic and feral pigs. While it poses no threat to human health, it presents a severe threat to the swine population. Its discovery in St. Lucia would be far-reaching, particularly within the livestock sector, resulting in significant loss for farmers and disruptions in the supply of pork products. Understanding that the disease status of the feral pigs will be an important factor that will aid in the critical assessment of the disease interventions and population control measures. The project will build capacity for the National Diagnostic Facility with the handing over of equipment for the detection of African swine fever. This will additionally employ methods such as tracking, capturing, and tagging to determine the population of the feral pigs. A spectrophotometer was among the equipment donated. It will be utilized to examine the samples in more detail and verify that the disease is not present in St. Lucia feral pig population. Representative of the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture in St. Lucia and the Eastern Caribbean states, Greg Rollins, stressed the importance of increased preparedness and control of African swine fever in the region. As a result of this emergence, the need for increased preparedness and control of the African swine fever is now a priority for many countries in the region, including St. Lucia. In this connection, St. Lucia is currently home to an undisclosed number of feral pigs that have escaped from domesticated swine farms and these feral pigs live and forage throughout forested areas in, and the disease status of these pigs is also unknown since no studies have been carried out on this population in St. Lucia. Therefore, understanding the disease status and the overall health of these feral pigs will be important factors that will aid in the critical assessment of disease intervention and population control measures if African swine fever is introduced into St. Lucia. Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Barry Morfelicie, outlines the newly acquired technology and how it would enable the ministry to raise the standard of its pig sample testing, both domestic and feral. Today, we are here officially to receive two pieces of equipment that will assist with the diagnostic capacity building efforts of the National Agricultural Diagnostic Facility, that is NADAF, in the detection of African swine fever virus through routine surveillance, not only in the feral swine population, but also our local swine population, and in meat and meat products that are intercepted at our borders. The first piece of equipment is a spectrophotometer that will provide much needed help in the analysis of serology tests by measuring the light intensity of the sample to determine whether or not the antigen or protein of interest is present in the sample. This will be done using ELISA rapid kits. In this case, we are hoping to detect color changes that would exceed a threshold and in so doing give an indication of whether the virus of interest is present or not. The partnership has facilitated the exchange of knowledge and expertise between the Ministry of Agriculture and the ECO office in St. Lucia, leading to the development and implementation of innovative strategies and technologies to address the challenges facing the livestock sector. From the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, I am Zarek Felix reporting.